Eight months ago, I ventured, frickin' ventured into the world of the unknown, meat-based philosophy of life. I did it with the expectation that I would eat a bunch of meat, heal my body, and then slowly add in my favorite plants, and then we'd come to this balanced haven of frickin' happiness, and then I'd spread the word, write an ebook. Just people would be cheering in the streets as I walked by. It's not happening like that. I have tried so many different plants in a foundation of balance, and they all slap me in the mouth. So we talk today about what is a carny to do. He's in the ocean. Why do you do it, plants? What's your end game? Why do you exist? Is it human genocide you want us out? Because we trampled the place? I understand. I'm not gonna follow along your plan. Just to spread a couple flower trees, pull them out on the forest and then they grow. Is that what you want? So I've been on this carnivore diet. You can't label what I do. You can't keep me in a box. I'm, I've traveled the world. I'm on a meat-based diet, it's mostly meat, and then I experiment with plants that taste yummy, that I miss, sweet ones that lick my mouth. If I'm being honest with you, so far none of them work. One, one plant so far, and I'm not even 100% sure on it, it's still trying to stab me from the inside, I know it, I can feel it. That coconut water is the only one that just, nothing seems to happen pain-wise. But like my body will swell up a bit my face does feel a little fatter today i had like four liters no two liters the cans are small like my pee i was having pineapple juice for a while it was literally digesting my colon from within and then my left eye i got pink eye in the left eye pink colon in my ass it was just like my body was melting why was it melting? Enzymes are no joke, those pineapple ass enzymes. They're in the core. They're super concentrated in the core and I juiced the whole core. I didn't remove it. I just juiced the whole thing. I might as well have drinking hydrochloric acid. I did. Who remembers when my eye was just infected for like a month or two months straight back in Chiang Mai, it was just red eye. I was even making my videos black and white after a while. I was tired of seeing, oh, what's wrong with your eye? I'll get your eye removed. You're dying. Why are you dying? <laughs> there might be some kind of connection with the tropical fruits and pink eye or sugar. I don't know, but like I was dying and my, it just was not healing. And that's something that changed on the carnivore diet. I just, I didn't have to, I used to have to put castor oil in it. If you ever get pink eye, just put castor oil in it. It'll be gone in like a day, two max. It just pulls out all the toxins. And I used to have to do that every night as a preventative. I was like, this is insane. Thank you to Sunfruit Dan who made a video about that. Links are down below to the video. You better watch it. I swear to God if you don't watch. But thank you, man. You saved my eye. I, as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh. It was a video about cataracts, how castor oil can heal cataracts. And I was like, if it can heal cataracts, it can heal my red pink eye. So I just put it in and it went away finally. I was like, oh my God, thank God but it would come back. And then carnivore diet, I didn't have to do that anymore. Just either my immune system boosted so high that I was immune to pink eyes or something. I don't understand it fully. I mean, what is pink eye? A bacterial infection? But why do they come? Ogenous would say they, they're coming to heal your eye, but it's very uncomfortable. It feels like your eyes burning and you look like a leopard, but whatever. To trust in the bacteria and they will love you in the end or eat your body as you die either one all these so-called beneficial nutrients in plants just seem to stab my ass I had mushrooms I was eating mushrooms little bits one mushroom I started off with and I raised up to three I might as well have been eating windmills they're just spinning propeller making wind in my body for generating heat for mole rats then they trans- how do they get it? How do they get the heat? Why are they using my body as a conduit? That's the real question here that we have to be asking ourselves. Vegans, do you have the answer? No, you don't. The celery juice was just giving me gas. 
That's supposed to build stomach acid, which would reduce the gas. So what opposite field of field theory is this? This is fusion technology erupting in the parallel universe. I don't know about you, but I thrive on a diet of cow tongues and coconut water. Just thriving like a unicorn in a field prancing, showing the neighboring unicorns and mice that I'm the boss. I'm here, the leader. Just I'll teach you, and I'm a fair leader. If y'all want a piece of my gold, you can have it. I don't need a lot. I want to share with what I my people i love you all <laughs> i pee more on that coconut water though i'd be lying if i said i didn't i can feel it in there building up more than it would if i didn't drink it but other than that we're thriving cow tongues pork tongues the fatty tongues i lick them and they lick me we're happy pig tongues are 2.99 a pound cow tongues 8.99 a pound guess which one just happens to be more delicious yeah yeah, it's the expensive one. Thanks, universe. But it makes me wonder if some people just, maybe we shouldn't eat any plants. There's just some group of humans that just, we didn't evolve on the right place. We were in a hill, grassy hill land somewhere. We have no enzymes to do anything. We just eat buffalo meat. That's all we can handle. And that's what we got to put up with. There's no balanced diet for us. I think the most common comment I get is, why don't you just eat a balanced diet? Please, God. Eat the balance. You need the balance. Why aren't you doing it? The more balanced I eat, the more windmills in my ass. Tearing the place up. I can't. I've tried. Whole fruit, fruit juice, vegetable juice. I'm f afraid to even try a bean or a nut. That's just no. I've tried oils. They seem to clog up my nose. I like being free like a minotaur. You can't take that from me. So I don't know what to tell you. I mean, Something gave me like crippling depression for the last week. I don't know what happened. If it was just like a food reaction, it could have been that pineapple. Like seriously, I was just like doom and gloom set in. I was like, what the hell happened? It felt like before I left Thailand and I'm back here in Toronto and I'm just like, oh my God, I don't feel any different. <laughs> I was like, what the hell's going on? I was depressed, physically sad. My life is amazing. I have the best life ever, and I was just sad, sitting here, bored, tired. I was, it, like, it feels like it's a reaction to a food. Like, why would I feel like that? So, I don't know that I want to experiment anymore with these plants. They ain't getting me anywhere. So, I just might go on the carny. I might even phase out that coconut water. I could be on cloud 15. I'm only on 7 right now. I want to climb those clouds. Even though the sun goes in front of the clouds. I've been watching flat earth videos. It helps me cheer up knowing that flat earth Santa awaits with gifts. So today's message, if you're feeling like shit, like in the mind, depressed and sad, I think you could like 99% correlate that to a food allergy. I just, I was happy. I was happy and then immediately sad and I don't remember if it like triggered overnight or just like something happened and I was just like life sucks why so I might make a separate video on that on the mind and the carnivore diet there's a weird I think carnivore most of them are dead inside we're dead inside emotionally we're different than other people it's not happy land like it used to be it's different I don't feel as creative either. I haven't been making much music. Something's dead inside. It could be dead bodies. Not that I've ingested any. Does eating dead animals deaden your spirit or zest for life is the real question that we have to answer. It's a real possibility. I heard Michaela Peterson said something about it where she's just like emotionally numbed and she has been for a while and then she's trying to regain that back and I think I feel it. There's something lacking. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I've always been like that apathetic, kind of just emotionally numb. So it's not like this is a recent thing, but I kind of feel it. 
I don't know. Post your thoughts down below. Are you dead inside on the carnivore diet? Or do you feel happy and joyous and expressive, and creative? Are there a lot of carnivore musicians? Let me hear your songs. So. We're done. We almost went for a right hander there. Thumbs up if you like the. Thanks for watching the video first. I remember this. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if a hawk pooed on you. But it's hawk poo, it's different. It's magical and healing. You probably didn't realize you had to rub it in the skin with an egg yolk. Then when you mix the hawk poo with egg yolk, you get hawk sack 4 and yolk 15. They meld together to get baby 1. It makes you, your wrinkles go away. You just smooth it. I was putting lard on my face. Didn't really see the benefit, so I stopped. Alright, we're done. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for buying a monkey strength book and the music in today's video and t-shirts. Subscribing for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.